So the simple arrangement that I'm going to teach you today, I'm going to start with a handful of roses and I think I'm going to mix them, the pink ones and the red ones, and I'm going to start with a simple hand time. All that means is that you start um, making the arrangement in your hand uh, versus designing in the vase. Uh, keep turning it as you can see and I find sort of the next spot, the next empty spot that needs a flower. Pull the middle ones out a little higher and the ones towards the side a little bit lower tucked in so you have this create this beautiful dome shape. See how I'm adjusting it in my hand. And then I use my clippers and give it a simple cut. And even when I cut it, uh, I cut it a little bit in like a V shape down here. So it creates that dome shape. The ones on the side I make a little shorter, the ones on the bottom I make longer. Then I sort of measure it and I put it in the container. And I actually show you a little trick right now. Uh, I pick this whole handheld back up a little bit risky to do. I'll pick this back up and just so you see what I just did, uh, I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter and then you'll see the difference. This is actually a great lesson for homemade. See how I just fixed it all and pulled the ones in the center out more and tucked in the ones on the side and I decided to cut it a little bit shorter. Then I don't need to fill in. You could, I could have filled in all the empty spots but that would take a lot of roses so you can cut it a little bit shorter and it's just a few millimeters it's not very much and now I place it back into my cylinder and see it's almost perfect this you want to turn your arrangement while you work on it to make sure it looks good from every side yeah, I don't want you know if you want to make it a little bit more elaborate you could that's why I chose the gomfrina, because now you can put some of the gomfrina in between. And see how I have like a cluster of pink here, which is fine, but maybe I want to switch it up a little, put the red one here. And it's okay to pull some out while you work and change them up a little bit. So it's simple, but simple doesn't always mean not a lot of flowers. It's simple because it's all roses, but you have quite a few roses in here. So now you can doctor this up with using some of this gomfrina. The gomfrina is more like a field flower. So you also have this interesting mix of roses, which is like a novelty flower, and then the sort of, you know, peasant flower, field flower. And you can continue with this till it's all filled up. And it's up to you when you want to stop. Ta-da! That's an easy Valentine's Day arrangement. <laughs>